Hi guys, thank you for checking out my YouTube channel. My name's Matt Garvey and I'm going to show you how I make comics. Hi guys, as I said before, my name's Matt Garvey. I'm a comic writer for the UK. Um, the reason I'm making this channel is purely because every comic con I usually do, people come up to me at my table and say, Matt, how do you make a comic? How do you write a comic? How do you start? How do you find an artist? How do you print your comics? That kind of thing. And because there's no comic cons this year, I thought, do you know what? Why don't I record my process, put it online, so hopefully those people that are not able to go to comic cons this year will find this as a useful resource to hopefully get their start because everyone should make comics because it's fun. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through my entire process from, uh, from developing my ideas to plotting to script writing to finding an artist to what I do when the art comes back to colouring to lettering to getting my comics printed and then I'm even going to show you how I go about selling my comics at comic cons and to comic stores and online as well. So hopefully you'll find this useful and hopefully we can do this journey together. Okay, so some of you may be watching this and thinking, well, I've never heard of Matt Garvey. He's never worked for Marvel and DC. So what does he know about making comics? And you know what? You're right. I have never worked for those companies. But what I have done is in the last four years, my collaborators and me, we've managed to put out 24 comics. And me personally, I've sold over 6,000 issues of my comics through local comic shops, through my online store, through you know comic cons and stuff like that. So I must be doing something right. And remember, this is just my process of, of how I make comics. Every creator out there is going to have their own way of doing it. But hopefully there's going to be some information along the way that, you know, will help you. And as I said, um, if there's something that I don't cover, you know, just put it in the comments and I'll try and cover it. Or, you know, say send me a message on Twitter and I'll see what I can do and I'll try and help you as much as I can. Okay, so this next bit of information is going to be the most important bit of information that I give you across all of my videos. So if you only take one thing away from any of them, Please let it be this, and I want you to listen very, very carefully, okay? If I can make a comic, anyone can. If I can make a comic, you can too. I swear to you from the bottom of my heart, because I was just like you. I had all the same fears that you may have. What if I can't do it? What if it sucks? What if I put something out there and people just laugh at me? They're perfectly natural fears to have, and you will overcome them, and you can do it, I swear to you, okay? If you just follow the process that I go through, you will make a comic and you're going to get better at it. No one's expecting you to be Grant Morrison straight out of the gate. Okay? It's a learning process. You need to start small and work your way up. But as I, I keep, I'm going to keep saying this for all these videos, if I can do it, you can do it. Okay, And I'm going to be there as well. I'm a resource, so feel free to use me. If you need a bit of encouragement, you need a push in the right direction, you can tweet me, You know, give, give me a follow, send me a DM. I'm there to help you and I'm going to help push you along the way because... Everyone should make comics. It's so much fun, okay? So you can do it. Okay, so where do we start? Well, like most things that we want to get better at, we need to do two things, research and practice, okay? So we're going to concentrate on the practice in the later videos. So now I want to go through some research materials that I'd recommend to yourselves that helped me when I first started out learning about comics and they will help you too, okay? You don't need to read them all. Um, you don't need to read any if you don't want to, but I would just recommend these books purely because they helped me when I first started going out and I'm pretty sure they'll help you, okay? Um, I'll put some links in the description and you know you can even ask your local comic store as well see if they can source them for you um, because they're, they're books about comics so they might be able to do it for you as well so you know support your local comic stores okay so the first book i'm going to recommend is the comic bible it's how to draw comics the marvel way by stanley and john basima and yes i know it's a book that's traditionally aimed at artists but there's a lot of useful information in there for writers, especially about the language artists use. So when we get to the script writing stage of making your comics, you can speak the language of artists and it hopefully will make your scripts a lot clearer. So when your collaborators come to visualize those stories, you're going to work together better because you're speaking, you're on the same page, basically. So it's definitely worth a check out. Okay, so next up we have Understanding Comics by Scott McLeod, which is probably best explained in Scott's own words. It's an examination of the art form of comics and how they work. And it's actually created as a comic. So it's very easy to read. So if you're, uh, you don't like reading books, um, but you love reading comics, yeah, it's it's very easy to digest. And I remember reading it when I first started writing and it blew my mind. And it's a fascinating book and I would totally recommend picking it up, okay? Okay, so next up is Words for Pictures by Brian Michael Bendis. And it's a very good book. It covers a lot about scripting, which I know I'm going to cover. But the reason why I want to recommend this book is it covers other aspects of the comic business 
which you need to know if you want to go into comics as a career because most people don't realize that it's called the comics business for a reason you have the comic side which is the fun creative side where you get to create your own worlds and your characters and your books but there's a business element to it there's a financial element to it and you need to learn a little bit more about that especially if you want to do this for a living so that's why i would recommend this book and it's very important so yeah if you're interested in doing this as a career I'd pick up this book. Okay, so these next two books are a little bit more at left field because they are High Fire Color for Comics by Brian and Christine Miller and Comic Book Lettering by Richard Starkins and John Rochelle. And I bet you're looking at the screen and asking, why is Matt recommending books about coloring and lettering comics? I want to be a writer. The reason I'm recommending these two books is because the more you understand about the comic making process and what your collaborators will bring to the table when you're making your comic, the better your comics are going to be. But like I said, read one of them, read none of them, you know, it's up to you. But these are books that I've personally found very useful um, learning the process of comic making, okay? So, you know, as I said, links will be in the description, check them out. And, you know, if there's any other books that you'd recommend, you know, put them in the descriptions, you know, that, that share some resources to other people that are watching the video, okay? Okay, so that's the first video done. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you found it useful. If you did, you know, give us a like and a subscribe, we'd really appreciate that. In the next video, we're going to talk about developing your ideas and move on to plotting so we can each ever closer to bringing your comic to life, which is really, really exciting. I'm going to see you in the next video, and I want you to remember, if I can make comics, you can too. See you later.